cancer of the prostate is one of the most common types of cancer in men. In most cases, it develops slowly, and many men can live with the disease for decades without experiencing any symptoms. However, if it's deemed to be life-threatening, more invasive interventions may be required. A long-standing therapy is to put radioactive material inside the prostate to kill the tumour. This technique is called brachytherapy. The classic approach is to implant a radioactive seed into the prostate. Low dose rate, or permanent seed brachytherapy as it's called, delivers a steady dose of radiation over the course of a few months. A newer approach is high dose rate, or temporary brachytherapy. This involves delivering radiation in short bursts through thin tubes that are temporarily inserted into the prostate. This enables the radiation dose to be administered more quickly and more accurately. Brachytherapy has a strong track record, but is falling out of use. In part, this is due to doctors increasingly deciding to employ active surveillance, keeping an eye on lower risk tumors through blood tests and imaging, rather than immediately intervening. But where treatment is required, many centers are opting either for robotically assisted surgery or a modern form of beam therapy called intensity modulated radiation therapy. Many oncologists are keen to ensure that brachytherapy remains an option to patients, arguing that in low-risk cases of prostate cancer, permanent seed brachytherapy has been shown to stop the cancer as effectively as robotic surgery, but at roughly half the cost. And in high-risk cases, combining temporary brachytherapy with more aggressive beam therapy can considerably delay cancer recurrence compared to beam therapy alone. Brachytherapy also comes with a different side effect profile that some patients may consider preferable. For instance, surgery can lead to higher rates of incontinence and sexual dysfunction even several years after treatment. Urinary tract obstruction is more common with brachytherapy than both surgery and beam therapy, but in many cases can be resolved. To ensure brachytherapy remains an option to men who might benefit from it, researchers are trying to work out why it's fallen out of favor and offer solutions. Some believe the technique has an image problem. Brachytherapy might be considered old-fashioned next to robotic surgery and modern forms of beam therapy. A change of name to interventional radiotherapy has been suggested to increase its allure, but few researchers have so far made the switch. There's also a financial element to brachytherapy's fall. Payment from insurers and state health departments to medical centers that perform brachytherapy are often too low to cover the cost of the treatment. A tiered funding system, like that used in Spain, that takes into account the varying complexity of brachytherapy could be used as a model for others. There are also concerns that because of brachytherapy's decline, there are fewer opportunities for young doctors to learn the technique. To change that, some groups are establishing training initiatives for doctors. The American Brachytherapy Society, for instance, has set up a 10-year program to teach hundreds of doctors how to perform these techniques. Brachytherapy has a long history as a cost-effective treatment for prostate cancer, but whether or not patients will continue to be afforded the opportunity in the coming years remains to be seen.